Need for Speed Payback is the latest installment in the long-running racing series. It tries to do a lot of things, but unfortunately succeeds at only a few. Need for Speed Payback tells the story of, well, Payback. You play a street racer, Tyler, who has a crew consisting of his friends, Mac and Jess. The very start of the game sees Tyler and his crew taking part in a heist, but it isn't long before something goes wrong and you're at the wrong end of a double cross organized by a cartel known as the House. Once Tyler and co have licked their wounds, they vow to take down the house and release their grip on whatever dealings they have going on in the city. The game's story provides enough reason to take part in different races in the city and its surrounds. However, I feel like this could have still been achieved without the narrative. Additionally, the story isn't likely to win any awards and its characters are cringeworthy at best. This goes for the characters themselves and the voice acting. Gameplay wise, Need for Speed Payback is fairly varied with the many types of races you can take part in. Races in the single player campaign range from sprints to drifting and each race type requires a car suited for that type of activity. Getting the cars and winning races is all well and good, but obtaining upgrades for your cars rely on either buying them at one of the shops using the in-game currency or by opening loot boxes. The latter isn't the best since it's randomized and you could get something you don't really need. At least when you buy it at the shop you get what you pay for, quite literally. The gameplay at its core is good, but it has its downsides. High speed races can be found here in spades. Not all of them are intense though, but there are some cool moments here and there even if cutscenes do tend to take over some of the stunts in the campaign. Being an open world game, Payback will have you doing a fair share of driving. Initially I didn't mind doing this too much because I was getting a feel for the game but eventually it becomes very tedious. It's very likely that you'll start to make use of the fast travel system sooner rather than later. The game does try to make things interesting by adding side activities and various challenges which are admittedly quite enjoyable, as they don't take too much to attempt numerous times. Another thing about the open world is that there's no police presence outside of the story which is disappointing and frankly a little strange. Having a car chase take place on the way to a location would have made things much more interesting. Visual customization is a pain. In order to unlock individual options for the part of your car, you'll actually need to perform some random tasks just to open up the option. Some parts of the cars can be customized from the get-go, but others not. It would be understandable if tasks had to be completed and to unlock more options within a certain category, but locking that category itself behind a prerequisite seems silly. Payback also has multiplayer, which is divided into ranked and unranked lists. Players can choose a lot of cars which they have acquired from the campaign or they can use loaners. However, using loaners isn't advisable since you'll be at quite a disadvantage. You get the option of doing a series of races comprising of doing sprints on tarmac or running it off-road, with players voting for the next race type and terrain after the race is concluded. This makes it feel as if the online component was more of an afterthought than anything else. There's not much here to keep players going for pretty long. Visually the game is nice to look at. It looks good pretty much all of the time and it didn't have any issues with slowing down when a host of cars are on screen. As mentioned before, the voice acting is pretty subpar and the game's soundtrack feels somewhat one dimensional, boasting a track list that does not have much of a mix of genres. Need for Speed Payback feels like it had some good ideas going in, but at the end of it all, the game just feels misguided. The story starts off nicely and then it becomes a cringe fest full of stunts. Also, the open world part of it feels unnecessary and the game could have benefited from employing a race by race structure. I can't honestly say that I've never had a shred of fun with Need for Speed Payback, but a lot of the time I felt like I'd rather be playing something else. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button and if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be kept up to date with all the happenings on the channel, you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get email notifications every time I upload something. And if you got your hands on Need for Speed Payback, let me know what you think of the game in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.